Pass reads hit. Hit. Lays down. Pulls his card. It'll be a white card because he got hit with the BB. Reads it to himself. If conscious, he will communicate to his teammates what the wound is. Read the whole thing. Gunshot to leg. Conscious. Stabilization, five seconds. One bandage. And that is letting the teammates know. Stabilizing a victim. He's hit, he's conscious, he's communicated his injury to his teammate. His teammate is coming up to stabilize the wound. Go. Since his wound's to the leg, to stabilize, he's gonna put both hands on the wounded area for the amount of time prescribed by the card. The car, this card says five seconds for instructional purposes, so he's gonna yell out loud, counting up to five. One, two, three, four, five. At that point, the casualty is stabilized and does not have to worry about the bleed out time anymore. This, this casualty has a bullet wound to the chest, so for stabilization time, Stabilizer or operator, whatever, is going to come and take the flag off. Go ahead. Removes the fat flag as carefully and fastly as possible so it can put both hands on the actual injury area. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. This casualty is now stabilized and the medic can now work on him. It does not have to worry about the bleed out time. This casualty has already been stabilized. He's been waiting for a medic. Uh, he has a gunshot to the chest. That's why his flak jacket's off. The medic needs to tie a bandage around his arm since it's an upper body wound. Go ahead. Our medic comes up. He pulls out one of his medic bandages. Ties it around the arm. At that point, this operator is back up to fighting status. Gets rid of his kill card. Gets rid of his bandit, his uh, dead rag. Rearms, puts the gear back on. Gets back into the fight. This bandage will stay on him until the next respawn wave. Rap tag proper carrying procedures. If this victim is unconscious and he's getting behind cover, he's by himself. We can use the bunny drag off of his. Plate carrier, go. He's now behind cover, and the medic can work on him. Let's say this con this uh, casualty is unconscious, has no flak jacket on for you to do the buddy drag, so we try to do another form of the buddy drag. Go. Now come down here, put his arms underneath his armpits, collapse his hands in front, and carry him out. He's behind cover, he can now be stabilized. Let's say this casualty is conscious, he has a leg wound, he has a chest wound, doesn't matter. He is conscious still. Per other operator can come up here, help him carry him. So he's going to get him, stand him up, and help him get behind cover. He's going to put him down safely and securely, that way he can be stabilized. Let's say this, con this victim is conscious, has a leg wound, arm wound, doesn't matter. His uh, fellow operators need to get him behind cover so the medic can stabilize and treat him. Go ahead. They're both going to come up here, get underneath one of his arms, stand him up, carry him behind cover. Once behind cover, they can put him down and they can treat him unimpeded. Let's say this, con this casualty is unconscious and needs to get out of here. One of the options is fireman's carry. Go. Since he's unconscious, he's not supposed to help you, but I will not be mad at anyone that attempts to help him in this procedure because no one wants to get his face. Since he's up there, get him behind cover, plus him down, he can now be treated. Let's say this casualty is unconscious and you've got two people that can help carry him. You one of your options is ladder carry. Come on in. Easiest way to do this carry is to lift his torso first. And once he's up, the second person can grab his legs and carry him behind track cover. Come down.